Oh, I... Thank, thank you. It's truly a heartbreaking sight, isn't it? A woman sitting alone in the rain. But actually, believe it or not, I don't mind it. Well, it hides the tears on my face. Although, I suppose the, as they say, jig is up. No, you're right. I, I suppose I didn't have to tell you, but you were being so very kind and I didn't want to be churlish. I... Oh, whatever am I going to do? Would you... Would you listen to a story, sir? A boy and a girl loved each other very much. Well, truth be told, the girl might have loved the boy, perhaps just a little more. And maybe the boy never really loved the girl. But in any case, they were together for a few years. And to the girl, it seems like a fairy tale come true, a veritable Disney movie ending. And when I mean Disney movie, I, I mean the old romantic ones. You know, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, that kind of story. But one day, the boy found another girl. And this one, he loved just as much as she loved him. And so he discarded his previous girl in a nearby park, like an unwanted cat placed in a cardboard box. And together, he and his new princess was destined to live happily ever after. <laughs> Destined, in any case. But the two of them will soon find out there is no such thing as a happily ever after. <clears throat> Anyways, like I said, it's just a story. Hmm? Oh, I... I'm sorry, I... I have nowhere to go. And that certainly is not a story, but the truth. Please, don't mind me. Don't, don't feel bad about leaving. Don't worry about me. This rain will stop soon. And so too will my heart. There's... No longer any point to my life anymore. Please, you should leave. That's... That's very kind of you, sir. I... I don't know what to say. Uh, are you sure it won't be too much of a hassle? Oh. I... I think just one cup of coffee would be heavenly, but I would hate to be a bother. Are... are you sure? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I won't forget the kindness you've shown me. Such a gentleman. My last lover used to hold the umbrella over my head, just like you are now. <sighs> oh my. You even smell just like he does, too. I do so adore that scent. 
You truly are a knight in shining armor. My knight in shining armor. Oh, that smells positively divine. Delicious. There's just something about drinking hot liquids when it's cold out. Speaking of which, thank you so much for the towel. And these clothes, surely they're not yours. They fit me perfectly. Ah, of course. I don't know why I'm surprised. I guess it's true, what they say. Hmm? Oh, you know the saying. All the good men are either taken or gay. Although, I suppose you're not really taken, are you? I mean, you're just dating someone, not actually married to them. Not that that would stop me. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just saying what a good cup of coffee you brew. I've always been attracted to men who could brew a nice, hot, strong cup of coffee. I suppose it's like handshakes and how you could supposedly measure the character of an individual by how well they shake their hands. In fact, why don't we try it? Yes, let's try a handshake. That way, we can both get the measure of each other as a person. And besides, I never did get to thank you for the coffee and the warm clothes, not to mention allowing me to be somewhere out of the rain. Oh, come now. There's no need to be shy. I mean, we pretty much walked here arm in arm like a couple. Hmm, I hope your girlfriend didn't accidentally see us. It would be such a tragedy if she were to get the wrong idea. Wouldn't it? Hmm. Your hand. It's so warm. Calloused at the tips and the palms, like you lift weights on a regular basis. Not that I needed to touch your hand to know that. Just one look at your powerful body, and I know you're the kind of man who is disciplined enough to work out, even though it can't be the most pleasurable activity. <sighs> it really is a shame you've already got a lady friend. Is that her in that picture above the mantle? My, she's absolutely gorgeous. A kindergarten teacher? How admirable. She's just a paragon of virtue, it seems. Still, please forgive me for noticing. There's not much of a woman's touch in your home. Is there? Usually it's easy to tell if a couple is sharing a home, but there doesn't seem to be much of a trace of her presence here. Uh, uh, aside from the workout clothes, that is. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's difficult when the other person in the relationship is so tied up with their work that it seems... Next to impossible to spend some time with them. I imagine, what with it being the holidays and all, she must be desperately busy with her students. It just proves how much of a dedicated educator she is. It must be so hard for your partner to have to spend so much time away from you. For the both of you. You know... Even though we've only just met, I 
get the feeling that you are a gentle, kind, loving partner. If I were your girlfriend, I would never leave you. And I, I don't mean to sound like I'm criticizing your paragon of a partner, but it, it should be a crime how much she's ignoring you. And of course, you're far too much of a gentleman to complain. You deserve better. You deserve a woman who will wait on you hand and foot. One who cares only about your comfort and well-being. A woman who puts you above everything, anything else. And of course, the woman ought to expect the same from you. But that doesn't even need to be said. Now does it? <laughs> Could you imagine a love like that? <sighs> My body is getting hot, just thinking about it. Now that should be the next movie Disney makes. Or maybe not. <laughs> It might be a little too intense for the children. But you know what I mean, don't you? Oh, dear, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what's come over me. I'm, I'm usually very good at maintaining boundaries, especially with people I don't even know. But here I am saying all kinds of things to you. I... I just can't help it. You... You just do something to me. When you rescued me from the rain like a hero, I took that as a sign from the heavens. I took that as a sign that I shouldn't let my past lover chip away at my heart any further. You were like the sun peeking out from behind the storm clouds. You are my new beginning. And like a new beginning, we should toast to it, shouldn't we? Uh, something smells a little off, don't you think? Like burning? Don't you smell it? Oh, I'd feel so much better if you would check the kitchen. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be waiting right here for you. Was it nothing? Oh, how odd. Well, <laughs> it doesn't hurt to be cautious. You have a beautiful home, by the way. I suppose some people might even call it minimalist, but I think it's a very bold interior decorating choice that showcases your personality perfectly. Some might even think it looks a little cold, but I don't think so. I sense a warmth in the warm colored fabrics you've chosen. It's clear you are a man of discerning taste. Yes, you're the perfect man for me. Hmm? Oh, no, you're, you're looking a little shaky. You should take a seat. Please, sit down. Yes, right here. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to slip something into your coffee, but, well, you must know this hurts me more than it hurts you, but I just had to. Like I said, you do something to me. Now, sleep. Sleep. And dream of nothing but me. Stars shining bright above you, night breezes 
seem to whisper, I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees. Dream a little dream of me. Say nighty night and kiss me. Just told me tight and tell me you'll miss me while I'm alone and blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. Stars fading, but I linger on, dear. Still craving your kiss. I'm longing to linger till dawn, dear. Just saying this. Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. Stars fading, but I linger on, dear, still craving your kiss. I'm longing to linger till dawn, dear, just saying this. Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. Dream a little dream of me. Dream a little dream.